welcome back to the channel and this lab is just recently updated so first of all just log in with your credentials and activate your cloud shell just click on that activate cloud shell option then just wait for to establish a connection click on continue and meanwhile just search for the IAM and I will recommend you to please open and use the online notepad instead of using your personal notepad because sometimes it's already modified some uh, letters because of that you might face the issue in while creating or mod modifying the files in later step so let me just increase the text size okay now just come on the task number one copy this first command run over here click on authorize then copy this second command and run now this command will take couple of minutes to update the score so do not worry about that so just come on the task number three where we have to just create one service account name called bigquery quick labs so just copy the name come over here click on this service account click on this create service account paste the name make sure there is no extra space click on create and continue and now just copy the roles from here first one is a bigquery data viewer copy that paste over here like this bigquery data view then again click on add another role copy this bigquery users copy that and once you paste the option number third bigquery users click on that continue and click on done so you are done with this now simply search for vm instance and open this thing in new tab okay now here we have to just create one virtual machines so just if you just scroll down copy the name and region and zone changes every time so just make sure you have to choose and make the changes accordingly so just paste the name and region and zone for me it's us west 3 and zone must be b so it's already chosen for me so no need to make any changes service is e2 machine type e2 medium no need to make any changes in identify an api service click on that and choose your BigQuery quick lab service account like this okay now simply click on create it will take couple of seconds to create it so just be patient if you want if you just simply click on refresh to just check and update it again click on refresh and the here you can see the SSH option so click on that now it will it will take couple of seconds to establish a connection so just scroll down a little bit click on this first and copy the first command click on retry if you get this kind of error now let me just increase the text size okay now run the first command and then copy the second command and just wait for this command get executed So it's finally done now run the second command of task number three then copy the third command and paste then copy the fourth command and just wait for this command get executed it's done now run the fourth command then copy the fifth command and run then copy the sixth command and run 
okay now here what you have to do just copy this thing go to your notepad okay and now here what we have to do we have to just change our service account and project id so just come over here this is a big query click on that which we created now just copy this thing click on this notepad and just change over here like this okay and just remove this extra space so your file must be look like this now just copy this project id and make the changes over here like this let me just increase the size for you okay now just copy all this thing make sure there is no extra space as you can see just copy that come over here and just run okay now just simply come on the last query called python uh, 3 query dot uh, py, uh, file name so just run this and you are just done with the lab so just simply click on check my progress and you will get a score as you can see we got a score let me just click on this and i got a hundred of the hundred so that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section guys thanks for watching and have a good day